tidy up the hall at the Legion, and she would use her talents to make all these patterns that would benefit uh, either members who were in hospitals or used her sewing skills for those who were coming back from deployment uh, or those that were uh, recovering in hospitals. And so she really helped me discover my true calling to advocate for veterans, and she encouraged me to be a leader on their behalf. So I am very grateful for her saying that. Hi, I'm Jerry, and that was my mom. And um, I think most of you know a little of that story. I just wanted to say a word to my sister. Um, families come in all shapes and sizes and textures, and when new family members come along, uh, it's really an unknown set of paths that lay in front, and there's no telling where it's going to take you. And, and in my case, it's taken me a lot of different places, and I didn't have the opportunity to, to be with the net through the years and my early years. Uh, but the path has led me back here. And um, I have a beautiful sister, and I'm very thankful that my path has, has brought me here to you. And I'm glad you all were here today. I'm sitting with Ginger. <laughs> so that's, just, no, I'm sorry, so, <laughs> that's, that's Grand Dog. I, I'm sorry, Grand Dog. Is it okay if I just stay sure. here? Um, I feel so honored to get to say something about Miss Annette. As you heard Don say, uh, through marriage, uh, we entered the family. And Jan, I couldn't have a better sister. I mean, sometimes sisters aren't blood, right? Sometimes God just brings us together, and that's how I feel about it, you know? Um, and her mom, <laughs> one in a million. <laughs> and I wish I could stand up and show you how she kind of strutted when I walked in the door one weekend um, to show you how much she loved Jerry Carol and Jan. I have never met someone so excited about something. She come prancing up to me, Rose, I got something to show you. I got something to show you. And she dragged me back to the bedroom and her blouse come off her shoulder. <laughs> she had gotten three tattoos. She said, this is the loves of my life. The three loves of my entire life. And Jerry was at the top, Carol was at the middle, and Jan was at the bottom. And it was the prettiest little tattoo you've ever seen on the show. And I just thought that was great that she shared that with me. You know, she, she was special. She, uh, I could just, for an hour and a half, I could tell you how she influenced me. Uh, but the greatest influence was, um, we've all heard the water runs deep. Her water ran deep. She went through a lot. She truly, truly did. But she was of a nature that you learn, you pick up the pieces, you know, you pull up the big straps and you march on. And that was Annette in everything she did. And uh, Judy touched on her movement and her caring and her giving to everybody. That was Annette. That was, um, I guess, the second time I met her, uh, she let me know in no uncertain terms, Al, Don, Jan, they were going to watch a football game. Well, guess what? Annette hated football. <laughs> and she said, come on, Rose, let's go down to the basement. I got this new machine I want to show you, talking about talent. I thought she showed me a grand piano, but it had chords and buttons and, I don't know, 
core, I mean, it was just something. I, I've never seen such a contraption in my whole life. And it was a knitting machine, and she wanted to teach me how to use it. <laughs> well, she sat me down, and the football game was going upstairs. And I wish y'all could have seen. I had thread. I had, I had, I was all but tangled up. I looked like Lucille Ball, her trying to teach me how to use the knitting machine. And Miss Annette, I'm so sorry. You just couldn't ever teach me that. But and I do. I have a little regret about that because she tried so hard to show me to do that. You know, she, and of course her. Her joys of her life, now I told you about the loves of her life, but the joys of her life were her dogs. And her grand dog Ginger here was very, very special to her. One of the joys of life, we lost Shadow this past year. That was uh, another joy. And there's the avenues that y'all have touched on. Um, she told me personally that flowers and birds made her happy. So she had the love of her life, the joys of her life, and what made her happy. And she's, she passed that torch on to Jan. Because on the trip up here, we're going 75 miles down the highway and just, oh, there goes a red wing something bird. <laughs> or, or we'll be saying, oh, there's a yellow-throated something bird. <laughs> and she, she knows her birds. And Lynn, that was so neat yesterday. I love that. Um, people that were around her knew she loved her flowers. And there's a little corner of her house that Lynn showed us yesterday. Obviously, it had been empty. And she just had to plant something there. It's at the corner of Annette and Al's old house. And Lynn just filled it up with all kind of pretties there. She, uh, she was something else about the love of her life. But most important, she was a believer. She truly was a believer. And she believed if you had faith in the good Lord above, you could get through anything. You could survive anything. And she really looked forward to going home. She talked. She talked to me about that. She knew. She knew she was going. And she knew she was real tired and she was ready. She was ready to go to the other side. And this is for Annette. It broke our hearts to lose you. But you did not go alone. A part of us went with you the day God took you home. If tears could build a stairway and heartaches make a lane, we'd walk our way to heaven and bring you back here again. In life, we loved you dearly, and in death, we love you still. In our hearts you hold a place no one can ever feel. Miss Annette, I love and I miss you. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Is that everyone? It's wonderful to hear all of these beautiful stories. Thank you so much for sharing. Wow, I wish you would have known her first team. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of us all, your love never ends. When all else fails, you still are God. We pray to you for one another in our need and for all anywhere who mourn with us this day. To those who doubt, give light. To those who are weak, strength, to all who have sinned, mercy, to all who sorrow, your peace. Keep true in us the love that allows us to hold one another in all of our ways, Lord God, 
we trust you. Let us sing together for all the saints. We're going to be singing verses 1, 2, 5, and 6. of your mercy. Raise her up with all your people. Receive us also and raise us into a new life. Help us so to love and serve you in this world that we may enter into your joy in the world to come. Acknowledge we humbly beseech you, Annette, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. God of love, we thank you for all with which you have blessed us even to this day. For the gift of joy in days of health and strength, and for the gifts of your abiding presence and promise in days of pain and grief. We praise you for home and friends, for our baptism and place in your church with all who have faithfully lived and died. Above all else, we thank you for Jesus, who knew our grief, who died our death, and rose for our sake, and who lives and prays for us. And as he taught us, so now we pray. Give us this day our day. 
daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Now to the one who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of God's glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, authority before all time, now and forever. Amen. Annette's family invites you to join them at the Sheboygan Falls Cemetery following this service for a short service of committal. Thank you for honoring Annette's memory with your presence here today. A special thanks goes to those that traveled a long distance out of a heart of love. <laughs>